Thank you, Charmer. My name is Sunspan, joined by Mogwai. This is the finals of the We Play Artifact Tournament, the first of three to come. Hyped versus Hoy, Storm versus Aggro. Who do you like in this matchup? I like Hoy. I think Hoy, his deck is just my personal favorite, though Hyped does have the double at any cost, which I feel can be very uh, impactful here, but I do like, you know, Hoy's lineup. It's just been so dominant, and I feel like it can definitely push in the damage, but if somebody can stop him, it's definitely Hyped. His yes. gameplay has been at, close to flawless throughout this top 16, all the way up to, to the finals, and I'm just very excited to see all four curlers here. We have Black and red versus blue and green. That's right. We finally get the full representation of what Artifact has to offer. Uh, one thing to mention, Hoy in the last series almost got to the point where he was tapering off, where he was just needed to start top decking, but he won literally with the last two cards he could play. So if Hyped can hold on, if he can get to a certain mana point, Hyped has to be super favored after that point, I think. I, I agree. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the finals of the We Play tournament, Hyped versus Hoy. Hoy on top, Hyped on through our perspective, and we see Diabolic Revelation and Ignite in Hyped's opening hand. Double Oath in Hoy's that, I don't know if that's good or bad. We haven't seen him play it super early in any of the matchups. Uh, it's more been a finisher of, of sorts. Uh, Salt Ladders as well, kind of the same deal, but Bronze Legionnaire is gonna be really nice to play, potentially even in this lane, maybe for that curve. Yeah, you're right. Triple improvement in uh, Hoy's opening hand is a little bit awkward. The, these cards, especially the Oath, are uh, cards that you opt to play for the late game as they do lock out of uh, you out of creep and spells. And Hyped has a pretty solid opening hand. He has the Gust. He has the Thunder God Wrath. He has the uh, card draw with Unearned Secrets and with Diabolic Revelation. So if you want to lead off with a combo deck like this, this is a pretty strong hand to start with as he does drop the uh, Unearned Secrets on the third lane. Yep. So here's the thing to think about if you're if you're hyped and Hoy respectively. You got Sorlacon coming out. That first lane looks amazing for Sorlacon to come out, but that means if you want to put Drow there, that's double green out of the two out of five heroes you have as green. Typically you want to put Drow in this lane with mm. all the creeps, but we'll see what ends up happening in terms of the actual deployment. Ignite's coming out in preparation for that. I like that from hyped. Definitely thinking ahead here. Interesting uh, Unearned Secrets play there by uh, Hype, though, as he did oh, have yeah. the opportunity to draw a card uh, after this uh, Bronze Legionnaire hit the board. So uh, opting to go for the, to the third lane, it doesn't ultimately matter too much because uh, since Kana is in lane two, she will be attracting all the melee creep mm -hmm. spawns onto this lane. So after uh, the Phantom Assassin trades with this melee creep, but we will see Hype being able to draw cards with this Unearthed Secret, which is very important because this is a combo that you need to fill up. And we've yeah. seen these early game Diabolic Revelation plays uh, developed by Hype. What, ooh, what, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, double Ignite right there. That What's, could be big. What Swim was mentioning earlier is that um, now uh, this list is running triple Diabolic Revelation, which is not a thing before. It, tend, it used to run a one-off of that right. card and used to use it as a uh, somewhat of a finisher to mm -hmm. enable the Prey on the Weak Burst, but uh, yeah. Triple it gives you a turn one draw uh, potential, and it, it's, it's very strong. If Drow does not come in this first lane, I think Hoy actually takes the tower turn two with Oglody Vandal and Sorla probably going in there, but Drow will be going to that first lane. I guess he kind of has to do that. We've been seeing a lot of kind of sacrificial heroes just to block some damage, and this is definitely the deck you want to do that against. And yeah. we'll see where the arrows land this time around. If you're hyped, you have to slow Hoy down as, as efficiently as you can. You, you These are, as you said, sacrificial lambs. You don't, you actually prefer them to go down so you can redeploy them later down the line uh, to a lane, you know, where they actually can find use. As this right. Ignite right here does enable a very powerful prey on the weak, but there is no blue hero for Hype. So Hype's options are limited. He does have initiative. He could use a Gust yeah. here to slow down the damage, okay. and he does. Yep. I like you this play. You do what you gotta do. Uh, 20 damage still being done yeah. to the tower, though, and of course that arrow <laughs> does help his cause, but uh, this is one of those decks, of course, you can burst down pretty fast, and I mean, considering how much Hyped is putting into this lane, you have to expect one, maybe even both the next heroes coming to this lane to defend again. Now, Hoy is locked out of plays in the second lane as he has no red cards in his hand. Mm -hmm. He's only able to play cards on the third lane, potentially in a Glody Vandal or maybe even in Assault Ladders uh, to perhaps push more damage. Hyped is down to 16 health on that first tower, which yep. is not what you want to see. Definitely not. Now, double Ignite, though, he can only cast one from each respective lane, which, you know, keeping initiative into play here, we'll see what happens in terms of Hoy playing Oglody Vandal or not, or perhaps even the Assault Ladders on that first lane. 
So second ignite comes Ooh, out. Okay. It's not going to kill anything straight up yet. Obviously, the one ignite is enough to take out the bronze legionnaire, mm -hmm. though. Which is pretty solid. You, you can gain you can gain this tower back potentially if you double deploy here. But uh, it's risky though because yeah. if Hoy takes it, then that's a lot of resources exactly. expended. Exactly. But I mean, if if this goes down, if you deploy two heroes, depending of course on the melee creep spawns, uh, you have a pretty good chance of blocking at least uh, one of these two. Uh, if you get unlucky, because mm -hmm. one of them could spawn in front of Bronze Legionnaire. We're so going to see what happens on this third lane, though. Does he keep initiative here? How important is that? It's going to be Mana 5. He doesn't really have anything in hand that is super crucial to play. Perhaps Oglody Vandal to help finish off that first tower. Uh, or he can play it here to redirect the arrow just a little bit. And I mean, if you see that Hyped has another Ignite, I know Hyped probably wants to play this. And he certainly will if the initiative is not given up, but it is. So now the consideration for Hyped is whether you give up initiative here. I think an Ignite here would be pretty solid as it would finish off this Oglori Vando. It would be left with one health and it could enable you to stabilize here a little bit better too. Uh, so I think we're definitely going to see the third uh, Ignite being played here, but uh, not for sure on this lane. Like uh, Hyped could prioritize perhaps the Kana lane to enable a mm -hmm. Prey on the weak over there. That's right. also quite viable. It would pick off this uh, Melee Creep as well. So several different options here for Hyped for uh, Ignite placement. And but even, I'm that, still even in that on first lane, okay. I mean, prey on the weak in that first lane is also quite good. Blockers. Uh, I mean, Hoy doesn't really have that much that you can just go right through creeps if you block him. So perhaps that's something that Hyped is thinking about because, again, uh, I don't believe there's a hip fire or pick off or anything of that nature. Gank is the only thing I can think of that's kind of direct damage uh, yeah, to go through gank. these creeps. Only gank. Right, see double deployment here for yeah. uh, Hyped onto the left lane. He has to defend it. He can't let it go down so early on. That's very dangerous against this deck. You have to try to stabilize. You set up two Ignites on this lane, which is going to drop uh, Sorla Khan down to three health, going to eliminate this Bronze Legionnaire. He's just going to generally weaken uh, the board state here. And uh, we see obviously kind of dropping the two melee, or uh, attracting the two melee creeps over to this lane as Tinker will be deployed in the hmm. mid lane, perhaps okay. to contest. Uh, Kana a little bit. If it does spawn in front of Kana, then it will knock her out in one hit. Yeah, but overall, this is actually looking pretty good for Hyped. Uh, especially if he can stabilize this first lane. That's mm. going to be the big one. Um, and even if he can't, there's still a lot of uh, resources expended by Hoy as well. And he's not really doing that much damage yet to these other towers, especially that mid lane that's just being blocked perpetually by Kana. And that's pretty good placements. Yeah. Triant right in front of the, the Sorla Khan. And good arrows yeah, there for arrows. Uh, for hyped that that uh, legion attack it into the ogre magi. I mean, it, it is going to live because the ogre magi is not exchanging with the uh, legion commander. There's no retaliate effect, so mm -hmm. he'll only be taking six damage. So as of now, this is pretty solid. He's he's basically avoiding uh, any sort of damage to the tower this turn. And has quite a bit of options here. We see at any cost a very powerful card. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is if he does resort to it in uh, lane two, then he would sacrifice his own Kana in the process as she has six health left herself. So, funnily enough, uh, I if, if this Legion Commander had one less health, it at any cost would be quite perfect here because uh, the Drow Ranger would survive on one thanks to the two armor from right. uh, Tree and Protector. Plus the fact that there's so many blockers right now, he's feeling pretty comfortable in this. Uh certain or in this specific scenario could duel the ogre magi to do eight extra damage to the tower but two ignites is very very strong it looks like sword is going to die pretty much no matter what uh and now that the mana has been cast by hyped you can probably if you want to if you don't care about initiative that is you can probably just use potion of knowledge to see if anything pops up but nope i'm gonna go for the tyler estate sensor to prevent some mana ramp in this its lane i mean this is a really important lane for hyped so three heroes here and that also pushes enough damage to kill off the Ogre Magi, knowing that no items are in hand for Hyped. Yeah, very good Tyler State right there. Solacon goes down. There was no point in developing that in front of Drow. As the Ignite is going to uh, proc off here, it does put a timer on this uh, on this Tinker. If yeah. uh, Hoy would do nothing about this. As we see, Prey on the weak. An offensive play here, boosted by Drow Ranger. Going to push in 15 damage to the tower. Do you go for the uh, duel here? So you don't get the upkeep death on Tinker? That's something to debate for sure. You, 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 could do, you have don't have for it. this lane would be yeah. pretty strong, of course. That see, that's the thing. It, it's not an easy call to make. You do push some damage here, but the important thing is not losing Tinker. But looking at how how this particular lane uh, looks, you may want Tinker out of here anyways. But you never want to lose your hero on an upkeep kill. That's just that's too valuable for the opponent. Especially in an aggro deck where every single turn is exactly. very very important. Yeah, because we're about. 
two and a half turns away from this being almost too late. For There's Hoy a to duel. Finish. There's a duel on Tukana. Yeah, I think I like this. And I mean, it's still not looking that great for Hoy, honestly. Uh, does have the coup de gras, coup de gras turn coming up next, of course. So have to keep that in mind. But Gust is in hand with initiative on Hyped. You could see an Assault Ladders onto the third lane here. Yep. Though this is looking like a clean at any cost to slow him down if, if that were to happen. Like, I think uh, at any cost on this lane to stall out would be a very reasonable play by Hyped. Hyped it stabilized and really went wide on this second lane. Mm -hmm. And does... Uh, Hoy really needs Marsh Machines. Yeah. Does have initiative, too. We, we could see at any cost here. Yeah. I think that's... Uh, Probably, I mean, it depends. He's only doing six damage right now. It. He's there going for it. I mean, better safe than sorry. Again, exactly. you just need to delay as long as possible. Exactly. Like I, I, I like that uh, at any cost right there by by hyped going up to 19 gold as well. So definitely gonna get some blinks, some extra health, and uh, some good uh, motility here. Did I, did I say that right? Mobility. <laughs> mobility. Oh my god. <laughs> the magicking mall picked up by Hoy. By the way, that could be pretty big in this first lane to take out some ignites. Yeah. But they do have a creep there and. There is a straight arrow, though, so we're hoping, or Hoy is hoping, I should say, for that non-block. But it's going to be blocking, blocking the Legion Commander right now. And all black cards in exactly. hand. We've seen Oof. this several times now. He does have More phase boots. More black draws. There is the March of the Machines, but unfortunately no hero in lane yeah. one. So he would have to wait one turn to get the effect here. That's pretty devastating for Hoy, actually. Indeed. Losing Sorla, they are definitely hurt. Yeah. March on the Machines will have to be cast from the mid lane. There's pretty much no other card to play uh, in that lane. You don't want to do Oath. The Face Boost will come in here, and he's hoping for a non-blocker, a Gust not being in hand, to be able to use the Demagicking Maul. Um, so, but there's no reason to use Gust until that mm. Demagicking Maul comes out. See, speaking of hype, his only available play is actually Gus's turn. Every single one of his other cards is blue, and all three of his blue heroes are sitting in the fountain. There is the Magicking Maul equipped. Will this warrant a Gust out yeah. of hype? I With don't one in hand. That's a that's a tough choice. Exactly. I, I don't I don't think that's a correct call. I, I don't think that a second ignite is going to be impactful enough to justify when it, what is one of your most important uh, combo components, as it does shut down your opponent from making any sort of play. Right, and the fact that this came about so early in the round or so early in this yeah. lane indicates that there's no berserker's call there's probably no duel and perhaps he's putting him on almost no red cards and he'd be exactly right not not a good hand for hoy right now at all and Which, laser might have to be used just to mitig just to keep uh tinker alive this round this march of the machines is still really good because there's no hero presence here so Hyped cannot get lethal on this lane, and right. he can actually clear, not only clear this board, but push uh, effectively six damage onto this tower in the span of three turns. I think March of the Machines is excellent yes. here, and you definitely have to go for it. I do also think laser must be applied to keep Tinker alive, or or maybe not, because he does have the could, Signet Ring. He could prevent just a little bit of damage from another creep, perhaps, in this lane. Or, or saving hold it on for to it. That's or probably hold on the right choice. It. I mean, you get, like, one shot at the laser, right? Mm. Basically, if... If you've used laser, you probably won't ever use it again because the game will be over one way or the other, by, especially with this deck. Exactly, yeah. Good. That, that's exactly it. He has six damage uh, left to apply yeah. on this tower, but all the blue heroes are coming back here for Hyped. Annihilation is Oof. most definitely a threat. Oh, yeah. And he is uh, dropping Kana onto this lane, the, the one with the highest health to make it so that, oh, or not. Because if, if you drop Kana, Kana is the one that has the most probability of having a successful Annihilation going off as it is not right. vulnerable to Duel or Berserker's Call. You have to take her out with a but Coupe de Grasse, which he cool. does have. Which exactly. He does have. So the question is, does Hyped want to keep initiative here? Uh, that's going to be very, very crucial. Uh, if if he wasn't keeping in initiative, then I would think he put two blue heroes in the mid lane to, per to essentially uh, guarantee that both cannot die and he can cast the Annihilation. But... Looks like he might be keeping initiative. We'll see. He has all the blocks right now. Hype trying to stabilize. Hype trying to stay alive tough. here. I mean, Gus kind of has to come out, though, because any coup de grace will open up enough damage towards the tower. So pretty much has to Gus and hope that the coup de grace is not in hand for the mid lane. The problem is if you Gust, you pretty much have no other play. You yeah. could go for a Diabolic Revelation, but then uh, you would have to draw. E even, even if you draw into... Well, no, because if you spend five mana, you could draw into an Agony Santum and a Stars Align, and mm -hmm. that would enable you to go off. But then again, you don't have Incarnation of Salamani. So 
This Gust is just good at stalling, but at the same time, you're at six health, and that is exactly the amount of health that is vulnerable to another marching yeah. machine. And this is even bigger. You, so you have initiative right now. You can coo in the mid lane to take out the, uh, the Kana, and then in the third lane, since you've already given up initiative, you can gank the Ogre Magi, who's only going to have about five HP after the Stonehall Cloak kicks in. So you no blue heroes in the first lane next round. That is huge. That is massive. That is absolutely massive. All, also pushing... Pushing uh, a heavy amount of damage there. He was two ult in, in hand. Okay, now now that Zeus has equipped, uh, Hoi doesn't have like a short sword or anything like that, so it's guaranteed to have at least one blue hero here now. Still, still, I think you preserve initiative. Ah, I see that that blink dagger changes things. But he stays there. Hmm. He has initiative. A coup de has to go down here 100%. Well, let's see how much damage is being done. Only three by Kana. And Laser is up to push for seven damage. Still no red cards in hand, which is unbelievable. That's definitely a good dis, uh, a good. Uh, I I do think you. I think I do think you laser. You have to push the damage. Oh yeah. You, you got to push that seven. You got to laser the melee creep in front of the tinker, which will also prevent it from going down. And then you got to go ham on that on that second uh, on that third lane right, here. And guaranteed four more damage on that tower from the Martian machines as well. Uh, this is a double oath, hundred percent. You you kind of unless you're gonna go for the gank here, untested yeah. grunt into an oath then. Yeah, I, I think this is... Or just Assault Ladders for this now. This is better. No, this okay. is better. That's exact lethal. That's exact, okay. exact clean God. lethal on right. that lane. Get, getting, getting a surprise kill on that third lane, and now it comes down to these first two. Hyped is in major trouble. Hyped needs to stabilize. He has initiative, and he, he has the gust. Stabilized. That's the crazy part. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he did that. Well, but now he has to worry about mid lane. Thunder God's Wrath saves him, though. Yes, that's a double kill kind in the of, mid lane. Kind of, because this is still four True. more damage, True. and and a creep has spawned here. Yes. So six damage. Uh, and assault ladder onto this lane ensures lethal. <laughs> that's crazy. And assault <laughs> ladder. Is, he wins. basically would have to. Win. He needs to get like the tower this round, and then hope for ancient. Essentially, I mean, he, he he does have the blink dagger. So if uh, Thunder God's Wrath, Thunder God's Wrath is super powerful here. He can stabilize, for sure. Can stabilize and then blink to this lane, and uh, yeah. stabilize some more. That's what he. Ha that's what hype has to do. Mm -hmm. This could be the turning point, though. It could be. This is massive. Any more March of the Machines in hand is the question. He's gonna a wipe out his entire board. Yeah, that hurts. That definitely hurts a lot. Because we're gonna see a second Thunder God Wrath potentially go down here after oh, the Ogre yeah. Magi For blinks sure. to the mid lane. This is very. This is incredible. He's down to six health, and. But that's technically four here because of this. But Hype could, could stabilize here and take this back. That would be nuts. He's going to get a free turn, right? Exactly. He's going to be playing solitaire. All heroes are going to go down. The this good thing for Hoy is that that tower was not taken this turn. So that's kind of big. But only 10 damage left on this tower. You have to think that this is game. This is crazy. You have to think that this is game. The comeback, the Thunder God's Wrath just wiping out the lane. And Height is going to make a crazy comeback. I mean, I don't even think he needs to cast Thunder God's Wrath right now. He can just start well, to draw a little bit because well, no the damage oath. is being done here. Well, the thing is, you got you got to be careful with. Uh, All right, he's gonna do it just to be safe. Just to be safe, like there's no re there's no reason not to like guarantee because he still can play improvements from there. Even though March of the Machines doesn't really change things, like you would need one more turn. Uh, it's a safe play, like you as you said, he only has ten health on that tower, so oh this my is. This so the is tower is gonna be left at four HP after the March of the Machines goes off. And, I mean, that might just be it. That's it? I mean, depending on creep spawns and amazing RNG here for, for Hoy. I mean, he got close. I mean, all three towers, this is extremely low. Six, six. Health, six health and then the Ancient exposed in the third. That is ridiculous. Two, that's, that's a good spawn for Hoy, though. That's a good spot. It but probably I mean, doesn't matter. It's well, hard uh, to hard imagine. Hard to imagine he won't yeah. draw something. Especially with blink daggers. Like, yeah, it's yeah. hard to imagine a world in which uh, Hype does not get lethal here. Incredible comeback. Barely living on both towers on six health. But Hype is going to take the first game of this series, shutting down the aggro nightmare piloted by Hoy and delivering the first loss uh, Hoy has That's experienced right. in this entire tournament. Yeah. Outstanding performance. Outstanding comeback here by Hyped. That was very back and forth. At first, I thought Hoy was, or I thought Hyped was doing really well. He stabilized very early. Hoy didn't get off to a great start, but then Hoy completely took over and almost finished the game, but the Thunder God's Wraths were too much to sustain. And down goes the first lane. Easy kill here, and with yeah, 10 he's just here. Gotta, he doesn't need to even blink if he doesn't want to. But He could do whatever he wants, honestly. I mean, what, what's the deal here? <laughs> what is he playing cards for? <laughs> I mean, he has Prey on the Week, right? So Yeah, he has Prey on the Week. Like, this is, 
Is he, like prey on the weak okay. plus uh in current I mean he does have the uh well he doesn't technically have ramp, but he just he just needs to like blink one of his He's green. He's just heroes. trying to remind himself what's in his deck. Yeah, exactly. He needs just, to draw it out. He needs to like chill, you know, recollect himself, like recuperate for the next game, uh think a little bit about, you know, as you said, what is in his deck and just uh basically prepare for the next match because this game is is so over. We yeah. still have work to do. So that is lethal on tower one. Let's see if Hoy gives up the blue button. Let's see if he's a good boy or not. It's been a nice hard-fought match. I mean, this is still relatively early. It's It doesn't feel like it's a nine mana, that's for sure. The upkeep kill there, but only needs three damage, and the Prey on the Week should be okay. Yeah, finish it off with style, you know? Get, get, get that. Sure. Get the blue that button is exposed though. and hyped takes game one. This is the best of three, right? <laughs> just to... Just to just to make sure here, yeah. I believe it is. Yeah. So is. I, <laughs> so Hoy loses his first match of the entire turn. I, I hope we're not wrong about that. By the way, is it possible he lost one? Early no, no, no. He he went two and zero every time. So Hoy finally finds his match, but it was extremely close. Interested to see if that continues or if Hype will just take it two zero. That was very, very intense. The fact that uh, Hoy threatened all three towers seemed like it would just uh, it sealed the deal for him. But we've seen Hyped pull this off again and again in this yeah. top 16. He gets pressured, but then he stabilizes, and the combo goes off, and the Thunder God Draft just wipes out the opposing lane and buys him an extra turn. And with this sort of uh, build and, and combo potential, that's all you need to just kill off your opponent. And the at any cost was pretty big. If yes. you look back at it now, that delayed that inch, or that tower from going down for an extra turn, maybe even two turns, and that could have been the difference in the game. So I, the panel was exactly right about that. Yeah, I, I, I think that at any cost probably won him the match, actually. Being able to uh, slow him down like that is, is vital. In, in this game, like every extra turn that you can buy is absolutely vital, and it's cool that we have this sort of matchup. We have a, a, a deck that tries to push in damage and end the match as early as possible, mm -hmm. while the other deck tries to hold on until uh, everything is set up and then just goes crazy and pulls up a crazy uh, comeback as uh, we're going to be venturing into game two very soon. And Is it true that Hoy's only played a month and a half? I, I can't say because I, I, I think... I, I, yeah, I, I think ridiculous. Yeah, I think I started more or less around the same time as he did. So, yeah. You've only been playing a month and a half? Wait, you know, I, I got into like mid-September. That that's longer than a month. Okay, and a half. so <laughs> so he's been playing less than me then. Oh wow! Yeah, Hoy, that I mean that's the that's most impressive thing. It's impressive. not it's not only the fact of how well he's playing, but the fact that he brought a deck that is super unique as well. Because yeah. him and Sixo obviously made this deck together, right? So that that's probably the more impressive thing than anything. So in game two, Hoy needs to win to stay alive. Mercenary Exiles is at his disposal this turn. That's actually the only thing he can play this turn. Again, Hype starts with an Ignite, which is nice. And, of course, that Diabolic uh, Revelation can be quite quite good. This is a powerful opening hand for Hype. He has the uh, the turn one Ignite, the Agony Sanctum, the Prey on the Weak, the Ramp with the Rosalie Druid, and the draw with Diabolic Revelation. We've seen uh, Hype go for this turn one Diabolic Revelation again and again. And uh, it's definitely a good enabling hand uh, for the combo. It's it's a good start for Hype. That's that's he, a good matchup though for Hoy. Yeah, exactly. Like getting getting your uh, red hero right in front of Kana is very impactful. As we see a turn one ignite from Kana onto the first lane to try to slow him down over there, and no no Zeus in front of Phantom Assassin. So this is a, a pretty even start, I think, for both players. Is uh, he gonna cast Diabolic again? Will it happen? Yeah, yes. it's gonna happen. I three. feel like every single game he's drawn that. Like uh, literally every he, single game. He right? is. Uh, he's running three. Though. He's running three copies of it though, yeah. so I, 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 it's not as surprising. And uh, definitely one of the the things that has changed with this deck, uh, at least with this variant, the the three copies of Diabolic Revelation. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, this deck used to only run one of them as it was considered more as a finisher to enable the prey on the weak. But in this case, Ooh. it gives you early draw and alongside unearned secrets and foresight, it, it adds quite a bit of a consistency element to the th to this deck. Mm -hmm. Hyped actually thinking about putting Drow in this third lane, which would give Sorla a free shot at the tower. We'll have to double up the green. This is a similar thing that happened last game where he had to double up on, on green. And Sorla is hitting the tower right now. Of course, there's a Roseleaf Druid that might have something to say about that. But... Initiative is on Hoy's side, who can play Tyler Estate Sensor, which would shut that down completely. That would be a big play here for him. And, and he can buff up this uh, Mercenary, too. 
We've seen it. how powerful this is on initiative uh, in turn two. It really slows down pretty much any sort of deck, but it does not deny the unearthed secret. So right. it doesn't leave hyped, uh, you know, help helpless with without I mean, any this, sort of play. This obviously looks bad, but remember yeah. <laughs> last game, this tower ended up with six HP the whole rest exactly. of the game. So. Exactly. That, that's the thing. When you're facing blue. You can push a lot of damage on them, but as long as they're still alive in a tower, they can completely come back on it, thanks to the likes of Annihilation. As uh, Kana seems to be going down here, we may see an Agony Santum, but we've also seen Hyped hold on to these Agony Santums yeah. until he draws these stars aligned mm -hmm. to enable the combo right. at the same turn. He doesn't have to play around Smash the Defenses in this matchup, though, as Hoy is not running it. And so down goes Kana. Again, heavy commitment being um, teased here in the first lane for Hyped. We'll see how Hoy respond. You have to expect Ogre Madrite to also go to this lane. The question is, will Tinker do the same? Let's will see he where follow suit? And the gank? Yeah, this is going to be big. Let's see where this gank goes, though. There's several different targets. You can go for the Drow on the first lane. You can go for the Zeus to deny any sort of uh, blue play here. Uh, both of them have good reasoning behind them. I, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, the Zeus is... Uh, a better uh, priority enables you to push this lane and not have to worry about uh, the a blue play here, which could be a foresight mm -hmm. or at any cost. You do or have to worry down. about the ignite possibility, of course. Of course. Always something yeah. scary. So Hoy looking for any kind of a health item at this point, and he picks up phase boots and a blink dagger right away. Hoy pushing heavy right. damage Ogre on the this first lane. lane. And Tinker so on the third. this indicates that Hoy's not really worried about getting this tower, although, I mean, like we said last game, he did not. Uh, but he also didn't really draw his march very early, which he does have in his hand now. So that could be huge for him. One thing that's good for Hoy is that this is not an optimal board state for in at any cost from this Ogre Magi, as he would lose both of his green heroes and not be able to finish off neither Axe nor the Tyler State Sensor. So right. uh, it would be hard to expect in a, at any cost here, even though he doesn't even have it in hand. Uh, but of course, uh, Hoy does not know that. This is big potential for a prey on the week, oh, yeah. though. For sure. uh, a total of seven doggos, which is a big number of doggos, which would also enable an upkeep kill on this uh, Sorla Khan with the Ignite, unless so Hoi uh, phase boots it. You could do a little something cheeky here. Once all the mana is expended, you can equip phase boots and then blink dagger, and you gank a creep right in front of Sorla. And that's lethal on the tower. That would be yeah. enormous if he could pull that off. But, of course, he has to wait for the mana to be expended completely. Exactly. Because Annihilation... Well, Annihilation... Right? Why was that highlighted? <laughs> Did you see that? Annihilation was just highlighted for some reason. Oh, I, I didn't Of course, he only has four mana. So once he refreshes, he can only play another Aghanim Sanctum uh, or Roseleaf Druid, which he actually can play uh, the first one and ramp up just a bit as well to help himself get to the Annihilation round next round. Kind of cancels out this Tyler mm -hmm. State Sensor. He can also play March of the Machines from this lane onto yep. this one later down the line. So he does have the answer. He's taking 17 damage, which is quite a bit, but he can definitely stabilize uh, with that. And uh, unfortunately, not enable any kills on any of the heroes, but wear them down in the spam of two turns. But he opts to go for the March early, early okay. from here, hmm. which is telling that he's, 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 ganking, gonna, from he's ganking from here. Yeah, yep. exactly. Does, does she live? Does PA live if she ganks with uh, phase boots? She's going to have 5 HP. She uh, lives through Ogre and Drow, but not the Triant Protector. Yeah, I, I think you could you, also do it on. Uh, I think you, you could, yeah, you could gank with uh, Tinker and phase boots the. Right. Or, or you could phase boots the Tinker and to gank swap. and then just swap, but you do lose a little bit of damage on this lane. Because that, that's one of the things. This lane, with the March of the Machines on it, uh, it's going to be very easy for. Uh, Hoy to push damage here, mm -hmm. but he needs to get uh, some speed going on on this third lane as he, he's, or he's still at 34 health, right? So it's, it's quite heavy. Down goes the second uh, Sanctum yeah, for Hype here. This is super scary. Yeah. Super scary from Hoy's perspective. Axe, I mean, you're glad Axe is here at the very least. Next round's going to be the sixth mana round if you mm. happen to draw the Berserker's Call. He swaps into the Ogre Magi, and that will be a kill on the Ogre. And again, like we talked about, the ramp is here. So just in case things get out of hand for Hyped, he has the insurance of Annihilation next round. But having used the phase boots here, he cannot use them in lane three, which means that uh, unless he were to blink his uh, Phantom Assassin away, right. it's going to trade with this creep. And that definitely uh, makes Hoi lose momentum. But this, this March of the Machines will uh, obviously wipe out all these doggos, mm -hmm. except for this one, which is protected by the Branches of Iron. So... Despite, you know, this AoE uh, effect at the upkeep, Hype still will have uh, some 
Because he'll have, presence he'll here. have an okay board. Yeah, yeah he'll, he'll have, it, it'll be fine for him. We can see a bronze engineer drop down here to trade with this uh, melee creep right here. I see no, no reason not to do it unless you want to preserve it for the first lane, but... Or if you want to keep initiative right now, which... I mean, this is when you have to start worrying about yeah, the, the gust into uh, stars yeah. align into, hey, I just lost the game. Well. He's actually going to put Blink onto Tink or onto the LC. Where does he want to go? So if he uh, wants to lane ensure, three? yeah, he could absolutely. He do could need go two lane lanes. three, and, and and he could actually uh, bronze legionnaire. He could meet, he could even bronze legionnaire and oath there if he wants to. Yeah, we could see that play. How much damage so. is that? Well, we'll have to we'll have to count here in a second here. Bronze legionnaire. He's got four. fifteen. That's that may be wait. So that may be lethal here. That's definitely lethal here. I think. Well. That's no, going to no, no. be an extra 12 damage on top it misses. of this. It misses by, by three points. But then you have the, a possibility of getting March of the Machines later, right? Exactly. Like, I and mm -hmm. the Glory Vandal. It's it not like you can play anything. I, th I think you'd, you have to take the chance here. Well, or holding on to it. Okay. This is also respectable. Like, he doesn't need to rush it. now you're about Annihilation. Exactly. Like, that's the problem. If you play the Oath and your opponent annihilates, then all of a sudden, you even though this... this uh, Tower is very low. You need either March of the Machines or uh, Oglody Vandal on it, and you mm -hmm. can't even play Oglody Vandal on it because right. you have the oath. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I like that him being a little bit preemptive there. We see Zeus being deployed on, on the initial lane. He does have initiative, and he's he's opting to go double. He actually yeah. needs to like yeah, I, I get this. He whoa. needs. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. This is the thing with hype. He <laughs> bounces all around. The place. He bounces a lot. He that's how he thinks about it. Yeah, he yeah. kind of like moves them around. Everybody needs a different like visual cue essentially. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Interesting. Interesting deployment here by hyped looking to stabilize. I mean, I He needs a gust. Okay, he doesn't yeah, find he it doesn't here. Doesn't get it. And this is going to open up the lanes just a bit, but not enough for Sora to actually find the tower. Of course, Coup de Gras is available to do just that, but you have to assume that hyped has a creep to block or just plain annihilation if needed. But if, you, if he has to annihilate this lane, then Hoy's in an amazing position. And also, uh, something to consider is a second March of the Machines being yeah. played here, which would be yeah. six more damage to his tower and also would do an excellent job at uh, wiping most of his yeah, board sure. out. You can just do that from the third lane and kind of surprise hype because exactly. you don't need to use Koo exactly. in that lane at all anymore because there's no heroes. Y you could, like, if you could. But you are here. getting blocked there, though, so if you're not going to find lethal yet. If you're Ho. Did, uh, hoy, hoy, sorry. Hoy. Hoy, hoy. Hoy, my boy. <laughs> if you're Hoy, my boy, do you uh, coup de gras this Zeus to, to try to get some uh, damage with this Sorla, or do you wait out a little I bit? Mean, this is I not think, a, an easy There's call. no way you coup. I think duel, if anything, right? Because yeah. you do not want to lose. All right, he's going to try to shut down the ramp a little bit. I, I, I really like this duel. You can't lose any cards. These are actually very important cards in his hand. You have a couple ganks from the other lane that you can take advantage of. The... The March of the Machines, as we talked about, is crucial. The mm. Oath potentially going for 80 in that last lane. The Magicking Maul, especially, you need one more damage in that third lane, which he's going to have to equip. Uh, actually, no, he can't do that because Blink Dagger's already on LC. He might have to gank the creep in front of Tinker <laughs> if he doesn't have initiative. The problem is if he ganks this, it, it, it'll just kill the Sorla, and it will enable uh, eight extra damage onto his tower, which I don't think is something that he wants well, to do. Well, I'm talking about the, the gank in the third lane. Oh, I'm, I'm oh, looking from, at how oh, he gets lethal. Oh, here. yeah. Okay, so from the tinker. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but it, but it, you have to get le lethal Orgy here so. as well because uh, double another march of the machines will not cut it, and he's losing his board presence yes, completely for sure. Like Hoy has to needs to find a way to end this first lane, and where's he an offensive gank onto On that creep. creep to try to push that damage? Okay, I I I like this play. And it's definitely worth a shot here. That's seven damage, and you're gonna have another march of the machines coming. You have to think. But yeah. he cannot, if he uses March of the Machines from that third lane, he still will not find lethal on that lane yet. And there's an Ogre Magic coming in with, you have to assume, Annihilation for Hyped. That duel was so good, though. Denying, denying the seven mana makes it so that uh, Hyped needs a Stars Align to play that Thunder God's Wrath, which he does not have. Right. That was so vital for him. Ooh. Oh, the mall. Knowing there's, okay, he has to pop the Aghanim Sanctum. What, what's going to get rid of here? Just the, the Ignite. Ignite. All right. That was probably not the target he wanted. Well, at, at this stage, I don't think it, it ultimately matters. I think you, you'd rather take out the Ignite rather than... More uh, than anything, them. he's going for the damage anyway. He yeah, exactly. He's on a two-turn... Actually, he's on a one-turn clock with March of the Machines coming in next. Exactly. So, Hyped will have to... He might... He's going to get initiative back. 
He actually cannot find lethal on the tower this turn. Yeah. That is huge. That's massive. That's absolutely massive. Hoi living out two is so key. Uh, March of the Machines will uh, enable lethal for Hoi. And he's really close to taking oh, down this tower. Yeah. He's. Yeah. But what do you do here? Do you prioritize the, the kill yeah, here? Yeah, that's and the question. Of, that is the question. I, I, think, I think all you have to do, you actually don't march of the machines here. I think you gank, you push lethal here, and then you play, you deploy Phantom Assassin, and you try to play the, the march of the machines from here. If you get gusted, then you play it from this lane. Right, but the problem is Ogre Magi is going to be in that third lane as well, right? And there's an Arcane Assault in hand for hype, so you can that's regain true. initiative. This is actually very tricky. But he, but he can get gusted twice. Yes, that's true. So I think that's what he, I think he has to opt for that. I think I think you laser, you gank, so that he doesn't take any damage, so he's not vulnerable to a Thunder God's Wrath from here. I don't know. It, it's hard to say. But I think you, you need to ensure lethal here, because otherwise Thunder God's Wrath could just end. And, oh, and, you know what you do? Oh, my goodness. This or, is going to be next level. Oh, he's going for the gank now. Yeah. All right, this is what you can also do. You put a black hero mid, and you, you march the machines from there, because he can't yeah. finish the game. The game's just over. That's true. Unless like, he places Ogre Magi mid lane and, and annihilates. The, the only problem with that line of play is that a gust, oh my god, a, th th this could be the ninth, though. Blink he, daggers will be huge for hyped right now. Th this, this is really scary, actually. He, he's, he's on a, he's on a two-turn oh, timer. Doesn't find it. He doesn't find the blink dagger. And it's over. It's so over. PA goes mid. March of the Machines. This March the of the Machines. Over next turn. This March of the Machines is going to save Hoy because this turn, Hyped has all the tools to wipe out his board with right. the Thunder wow. God's Wrath. But this two uh, charges on March of the Machines is exactly enough to ensure and lethal. And of course, if you're Hoy, you have to assume that there's a way to get rid of the March of the Machines, like a demagicking mall. You have to play for the absolute worst case scenario. That's why PA is going mid, just to ensure. Oh, put another March of the Machines just to. Just to you know, double check it. Double that check it off the list. So clutch, though. That is so clutch. The fact that he got this hit off yes. with axe. That Huge. is That is insane. He's actually putting Ogre Magi mid, so he's actually reading this pretty well. But unfortunately for hype, he has no way to get rid of this improvement. Still has he, two charges left. He has no the magic he maul. He yeah. needed an obliter. He needed to loomy this. Yeah. He needed an <laughs> obliterating orb out of the secret shop to get rid of this. Yeah. This is going to be over because because he didn't get lethal on that tower, there is nothing Hyped can do. The only way Hyped wins this is if he gets lethal on two towers this turn, but he is just going all in on this one, and I just don't Even see a way. March, I mean, March of the Machines has been MVP in so oh many games with Tinker. Oh, my God. There's two more as well. And but you, you have Oath in this last lane as well. I don't think that's going to be enough to actually finish it, but if he had drawn second Oath, that he could just finish that lane as well. So Hoy covering all bases here. Very nicely played. Yeah, like th this I mean, is even so these, slick. Even these Thunder God Wraths that can kill everybody aren't really gonna isn't really gonna do too much. This is so slick. And for anybody watching, even if he managed to take down the tower here, uh, this ancient is uh, invulnerable from damage. And there is the forfeit from Hype going right. down to March of the Machines. What a slick lethal there by Hoy. Wow. Even in the score one to one, we're going to a third game. And we kind of mentioned in game one. He had one Ancient, right, exposed, and two towers at 6 HP. He only drew one March of the Machines. In this game, technically speaking, he drew all three. That is the, that is the difference. Hype mm. can actually uh, stabilize these lanes if he gets the right cards, as we've seen many a time. But March of the Machines, he can't do anything now. He has nothing in his deck for improvements. Here we go, game three. This is a, these two games have uh, showed us that Hoy is definitely on the clock here. It do, it's not super apparent, but there's a point in oh, this yeah. match where both, hyped, here, both players, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, Hoy has to end the game at a certain point. Otherwise, he just gets blown out. Hyped is just basically working to get all his combo pieces together. He has the stars aligned. He has the Thunder God's Wrath. He has the Agony Santa. Yeah, that's scary. He's lacking, basically, uh, Prey on the Weak and uh, Incarnation of Salamani. So he's missing Diabolic Revelation, which he's had every single game to draw cards. So if he draws poorly, that could have a huge impact on this game as well. As we're going to see the... Mercenary Exile placed in this first lane with Axe, his little buddy. Mm, Axe in lane one is very good for Hoy. Kana in lane three is very bad for Hype. This is a good uh, initial placement uh, for Hoy as we see quite a heavy presence in lane two with Zeus and two creeps for Hype right there as we move on to the third lane. Yep. And uh, as, you, as you saw, no untested grunt play there from Hoy due to the presence of the second lane, you don't want to have these trading off with creeps. You right. want these to push four damage onto the tower. 
and uh, there is a bit of a bug, so I, I, I can't like. How get dare you? He just wants to be seen. He's the <laughs> untested grunt. He's like, I've done so much for you over the timeline on this freaking deck. Please. Senpai has noticed. Give you. Get me out of the armor, way. please. He's bare chested. This poor young man. <laughs> He's running in with no armor and a hammer. Like, what are you going to do with a hammer? <laughs> Give him a knife or something. Jeez. He's so, it's so big, though. Like, it seems <laughs> inefficient as hell. It's sort of like going onto lane one to support Axe and try to push uh, heavy damage there. That Ooh. curve onto yeah. Triant, though, perhaps not what he Definitely wants to not. see. Definitely not. But you will find the kill in all likelihood unless they're... I mean, Roseleaf Druid could come to block either way, so it wouldn't matter too much. Um... Disciple, not going to do a whole lot right here. You could put a couple untested grunts. Is there a better place for... Stonehall Elite obviously would be great in the Kana lane, but it's not going to do anything this round unless there's an arrow. I think I think you preserve Stonehall just to have a play here. And the question is, do you go double untested grunt or do you go Oaklody Vandal onto yeah. this lane? Th those are the two options. If you want to spread out more, obviously they are vulnerable to trading with a Roseleaf Druid. Uh, inefficiently, as we see a pass from Hoy. Hoy is scouting out first. Indeed. And then not, ab not able to see the Triant, though. And now, now he's going to go double, double grunt. grunt. I love this. I love this play. I, I love Hoy being patient. Going yep. It's a risky decision. It is. Because if Hyped have no play, he would have missed out on curving out here. But Hyped playing that uh, Druid, and now he gets some... A little bit surprised he didn't spend the two gold to make sure that... the. The Mercenary Exile lived through that exchange with Drow, but yeah, choosing not to do so. All right, Aghanim Sanctum on that first. This feels like it's all about first lane. Obviously, uh, that's the lane that has the most priority over the other two, especially when you're playing the OTK deck, as it were, for Hyped. Now it looks like we're going to see another showdown. Do you do you think we'll see an Assault Ladders onto lane one here by, by yeah. Hoy? P potentially. Uh, There's no reason. But, uh, this Oak Lodi Van, though, is okay. pretty safe, too. Honestly, it, it it enables you to potentially push more damage uh, later down the line. I think overcommitting to to lane one is a little bit risky because of a uh, hyped double at any cost. At any cost can be extremely powerful in this right. first lane. Uh, can Will wipe out pretty arrow? much everything. No. He does not get the arrow. It'll eat a cheeseburger next round, though. <laughs> That's for sure. For yeah, he 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 he'll, he'll get his. He'll He's got get an his early protein. blink dagger if he wants to. All right, so this first lane is going to be the real contest. Ogre Magi will most certainly be there. Tinker, for the most part, since we've seen uh, in the games, Hyped versus Hoy. Hoy has not chosen to put Tinker in that same lane. Not wanting... He wants to kind of spread his damage over overall. This is Looks risky. Looks like he might be going for it this time, though. This is risky, though. This is opening up to both at any cost and Annihilation. Hoy has the initiative. This is a very aggressive play by, Hi yeah. uh, by Hoy here. I mean, in theory, you could say the same for mid, right? That would clear everything out with any cost. Yeah, but any cost is so powerful here because this is the turn in which you're going to try to get your big damage hit. If if Hyped were to draw at any cost, uh, Hoy would be tremendously punished here. Not only at any cost, but Annihilation as well. Even mm -hmm. though you sacrifice Drow, it's most definitely worth it. If you oh, get yeah. three kills with Annihilation, you slow down Hoy heavily here. So yeah. I, I, I would have expected it to go on lane three to support uh, the Legion Commander there a little bit, but yeah, we're that's not how seeing he's, that. That's how he's been playing it, oh, and okay. actually he's going to uh, do it again. Okay. Okay. I, I, I like this much better. I like this much better. Yep, spread out the black heroes from each respective lane. And, yeah, you're right. If at any cost is drawn, then uh, that, that hurts quite a bit. Drow does yeah. go down, though. He probably, I don't know, maybe you don't have to do it here if you're if you're hyped. doesn't happen there. either way, so it doesn't really have the choice. He would have been so punished. Look at that Annihilation right there. This is, Base this boots would have been amazing here, but unfortunately only a blink dagger. I mean, you can relocate the Sor Lacan to perhaps hit another tower. Even that third tower would be either. T Let's zoom out here real quick. Let's look at if there's any potential spot for for her to go. Oh, actually, the mid lane looks amazing for Sor Lacan. But then again, uh, well, you're five at, 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 right? at any cost is dangerous. Yeah, I mean at that's any, dangerous anywhere though. Ah, exactly. But I mean, if you're Hoy, maybe you just have to risk it. You just have to bang on. I'm not having it play a little mm -hmm. bit to win, uh, because sometimes when you're playing around the card, you play suboptimally and uh, you are too conservative and you just lose because you're trying to rush down your opponent anyways and right. you fail to do so. But he's gonna opt to blink uh, axe okay. instead. Interesting. Who wanted to get the trade here? It seems, as we see Honored Seekers going down onto that second lane. I mean, you can cast Assault Ladders in the mid lane and then follow it up with the Disciple of Nevermore, but that does make everything super, super squishy. But Axe would live through it. And you'd come close to taking this tower there, as a result. There's the blink. 
Hoi, Hoi, uh, that is what we're talking about, being flexible. Yeah. This, this lane one seemed incredibly good for Hoi, but now because of Hype's commitment, he's taking it back and Hoi is like, okay. Yeah. He's playing uh, it differently than last game too. Exactly, like really I'm, cool. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch it up here and I'm going to threaten this lane instead. But yeah, Hoi is being slowed ladders. down. This yeah. is beautiful. It's really strong. But you might think about, oh, well, actually, sorry, we've already been over the fact that you cannot annihilate here. Oh, All right. that's strong though. It's big. It only kills Sorlacon. Yeah, but that's damage. That, but that's big the damage. the fact that Zeus is in mid, who is he near for the static field? There's there's no way to proc it, though, for him now. Yeah, that's true. Has no, there's no place. There's Hype does run but out of Hoy steam. does not know this. Yeah. Hype does run out of steam. Hype uh, heavily relies on his, on his unearthed secrets to enable him to refill his hand. He has a ramp. He has gust, but he needs uh, he needs it's combo components it's here. It's an unfortunate arrow for Hoy. He would rather be going for... He doesn't want to take any chance with the Disciples, so we'll yeah, just take the draw. kill. Of course, with only a green hero coming back, that's strong definitely the right move. Draw. That's so strong. That could be applied here for a billion doggos. That's seven. Seven dogs on this lane. Mm. That is so much damage. That is so and threatening. And Hoi doesn't really have anything to play. You don't want to play Disciple. Oh, for this sure. is powerful. That was a strong draw. That unearthed secrets. And the curve onto Legion Commander. Mm. That hurts. Oh, that is tough. That you hurts a lot. And Disciple, again, does nothing. In fact, it does more than nothing. It kills your own Stonehall Elite. So you just have to keep initiative here. And with no heroes coming out, Hoi might be in some trouble here. Some big trouble. He's only he's only managed to stabilize on that lane. You may see a Disciple just to trade with this Kana, just to make it so that he can't yeah, play another blue spell here. That's and true. you can trade with one of these dogs as well. He may have to do this just to stabilize, but he passes. This is very dangerous. It is. He's all of a sudden he's threatened on both lanes. Yeah, this this could be this it. This could be over. This is very very bad for Hoy. Picks up the phase boots. He's undoubtedly going to put double disciple in the mid lane, but unless he draws something else. But yeah, not much else to do for him. Hyped in the other hand, a lot of gold, picking up pretty much everything in his shop. He has blink dagger available along with annihilation. This is looking like a much better game for Hyped. Ah, oh, much better. He's he's pretty much he's so he's got lethal here. There's nothing Hoy can avoid from getting lethal here. And uh, he's close to, you know, he has, he's missing components, right? But if he if he draws the right cards, he does have the stars aligned. If he draws the right cards, he could just, like uh, an Emissary of the Quorum would be devastating here. Ooh, Berserker's Call could end up being pretty big next round. Oh, man, that's so much damage. Yeah, this is, this is a lot. And initiative is still with Hoi, but of course Annihilation can't be played in that mid lane unless he blinks over Ogre Magi now. But if you're hyped, I don't know if you really care about that mid lane quite yet. Of course, you have to respect the power of, of this aggro deck, but maybe not that much considering how good of a position you are in, the, in lane one and three right now. Hyped is in absolute control here. Stabilizing lanes one and three, gonna lethal uh, on this lane with uh, Blink Dagger yep. easily, and then uh, Hoy's going to have to try to take back this tower when he's going to be at nine mana and having a gust. Obviously, he won't have uh, initiative, but I don't see how uh, Hoy can, can come it's, back from this. It's so tough. Yeah, it's very unlikely, but you can set up this mid lane for a potential 80 next round if you put double disciple and just hope that there's nothing drawn. Like, I mean, a, uh, a Thunder God's Wrath drawn from the first lane will absolutely decimate considering all the minus armor that comes into play. Ignite drawn will absolutely decimate the mid lane if you do that ahead of time. But you have to hope for double disciple into oath. Then you can 80 and you just need to defend for the one round in the first lane. But of course, then you have to worry about Zeus with potential annihilation. So, yeah, it's which very we, which little means, in the way of So, outs. yeah, like the only way Hoy can win this is if he is able to defend this lane from die next turn. He'll be at 14 health, which is easier said than done. Obviously, uh, Hyped ha has run out of steam. Like, his hand is pretty much For reactive. Now. For now. For now. <laughs> he does have the Unearth Seeker, so he has yeah. three more card draws here. And uh, you need, basically, to uh, defend this lane, survive one turn, and uh, OTK the Ancient right here. Yeah. That's that's the only way Hoy does it. Uh, Hoy needs to preserve initiative in this lane to be able to coop the grass. Uh, coop? Uh, coup, sorry. God, God I, I had it, right. <laughs> To coup de gras the Zeus, which means he has to play the disciples now. Yeah. Because otherwise he can't coup de gras in, in threat. And even then, um, I don't. I, this is a lot of damage, but I don't think this is enough. This is his only way well, out, though. If he gets oaths, like I said, it's possible. But yeah, but, but, like but I how said, do you defend first lane? That's the real question. 
But like and how do you not get annihilated here? Exactly. Like well. you, you need the coup. That's the problem. You need the coup. Yeah. So you need to do this now. And, yes. he, and he recognizes this. He needs to play. This is his only way. He needs to double up here. This is very powerful, but as you can see, it's missing out. He needs to deploy heroes uh, here as well, at least one hero uh, or two. Yeah, but Hyped also needs to draw um, Assault. Oh, what's it called? The Initiative card. Oops. Arcane Assault. Arcane Assault. There's so many things that can go wrong here. Yeah. Like, this is very, this is Hoy's only chance here. And it, he, it, it could be punished by so many different things. Yeah, I mean, Hyped will not take the first tower if he can't get some sort of can't get the initiative back because he has to annihilate this mid lane. So that puts a lot of pressure on okay. him. Okay, right? so so Hype not taking lethal. I mean, this is very smart by Hype not taking lethal on this lane, but mm -hmm. only only March of the Machines would punish this. Right, so this deployment is huge. Obviously, Zeus is going mid. There's no consideration otherwise. And on the other side, you, again, the initiative is all, it's all about whether Hype is able to lethal this tower or not. So, in fact, the only move here for him is to just not do anything in the first lane. Exactly. Like annihilate the, the second lane, get lethal in the third, and then finish it off on the first, right? So in this case, Hoy just needs to put everything in the first lane. And hope that you draw Oath. Contesting, to, contesting this is tough. Yeah. Oh, this is such if a tough call. If he goes mid, it's just game over. Oh, uh, yeah. Hoy, Hoy is... But there might not be any other choice, honestly. Yeah. Like, if, if you're Hoy, you have to play to win. You have to assume that your opponent is really unlucky and... <laughs> <laughs> does not he has all of his uh, combo components. This is so yeah, tough. He's hoping that annihilation, annihilation just was never drawn. Basically, if he's doing this, thinking about putting Tinker in the mid in the first lane as some sort of presence, but this yeah, Hoy is not in a good spot at all. Three seconds oh, until the deployment is this chosen is gonna for be him, it. and hyped is going to be very happy about this. And of course, he will do absolutely nothing. Actually, if a gank comes online, ooh. Ooh, wait. But then you have you have gust, so he's just gonna gust. No, but but if he gusts, he loses. Into an arcane assault. <laughs> okay, there you go. Because <laughs> if he had to gust. Right, right, yeah. right. right. Now so he, he loses drew initiative. arcane assault. But he, he drew arcane assault, oh, so boy. that solidifies his That'll position. Do it. And hyped is going to shut down Hoy here, stabilizing in lanes one and three, and uh, going boom boom here and just finishing him off in lane uh, yes. three right there. There it is, and Hoy's like, all right, that'll do it. Boy, what a finals. Multicast, wow. of course, on top of that. And that should do it, my friends. Annihilation will come down from Hyped. Got to destroy what, this second What a lane. series. Man, what this a, was yeah, super hyped. This was crazy. This was amazing. Like, that second game, getting the, the lethal with the March of the Machines. Annihilation here at the 9. He had lethal yes, on that did. tower. Indeed. Wow. It could have gone differently if he drew gank, but it had to be a very specific scenario. Yes. So many things could have gone wrong he here. He had to draw gank, and Arcane Assault had to not been drawn. Hyped, hyped is the winner, the champion of the first ever We Play Constructed Artifact Tournament, defeating Hoy in the finals with a close 2-1 to one series. Congratulations, Hype. That was amazing. Well played by everybody in this tournament. We yeah. learned a lot about Constructed since we didn't really get to see that as much in the beta, so that's really nice to see it kind of develop. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of new things. I, I bet a lot more people are going to play some, uh, well, some people are going to play Storm, of course, but a lot more people are going to be playing this aggro deck I, that, he, I that Hoy created, right? I expect a lot of blue-green, though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, it's there's going to be a nice mix. That's, that's yeah, the good thing exactly. about, about artifacts. So that'll do it for us here at the Caster Desk. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to WePlay for putting on this tournament, for all the great hospitality. Thanks to the casters who've been great. And, of course, my boy Charmer for filling in as a last-minute host. You're my boy. <laughs>